in the previous episode i demonstrated some of the email providers in the darknet uh, like a disposable email email addresses which you can create you can use it for temporary purposes which does not store any any personal information does not track any any data uh, but maybe like you know a bit of insecure so that might not hold like that might not be the option for all the use cases you have because sometimes you do need a, a email inbox or a, a provider which can store your emails and you can like you know access it or maybe you can have more feature by uh, instead of just like you know sending and receiving the emails uh so that's uh part 2 like you know that's another topic we are going to cover today uh we are going to discuss like you know what are the other email providers which provide the same privacy so we do not want to compromise on the privacy and anonymity but we still want to use more features uh, those are provided by some of the secure email uh, like you know providers vendors maybe those are free maybe those are not free uh, we'll discuss that today and and maybe like you know you can use that uh, while you are browsing the darknet So please hit the like button. Uh, it just takes second uh, to do that, and also please feedback, like you know, leave your feedback at the end of the video, so I know exactly what kind of content you guys are looking for, uh, so I can uh, like you know build my content in the future accordingly. All right. So now uh, when we say secure email, right? Uh, now this secure email we are talking about, we need to make sure. whichever email provider we use uh, provides more feature than like you know, instead of just sending and receiving email and then disposing our inbox like after 30 minutes or 1 hour we need like a persistent email messages second thing we need to make sure is there is no tracking there are no logs stored by anyone uh it has to be open source of course open source are uh like you know at times more secure because you can audit you can check what kind of uh, security they have in place it has to be end to end encrypted uh like you know encryption tls etc uh we do not want to share much personal information uh so that's perfect and some of the email providers that we are going to discuss today are are also available on the clearnet as well as the onion so you can at times let's say you don't have access to the tor network then you can also access those email from your clearnet website uh only one i guess disadvantage here is it does require javascript uh so like you know when you when you want to access this email inbox uh, you have to kind of compromise on the security of your tor browser if you remember initially we 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 checked about there are three modes of security you can uh, configure to your tor browser um and and this one like you know does require js so you cannot set to the highest level of security uh but anyway uh that's like you know if you are using like some well known vendors it's not going to be a big risk but again uh, whenever you allow javascript obviously there is some risk so we are in the next episode i'll also uh, teach you about like you know what are the third option and even more secure option than this true uh this option where it does not require the javascript so what are the examples uh so there are actually long list of uh, providers or lost long list of options you can choose from so you can see like proton email is the most popular secure email service provider and i'm sure you must have heard it if you are in the like you know security uh, domain uh, mailfence is also uh, provides end to end encryption and and it has like a outlook layout so if you are somewhat familiar so likewise there ha- there are a lot of email providers who provide the secure email but let's take a look at the like you know one which is like this proton email and uh, we'll see uh, so the list actually i got it from this particular uh, vpn overview uh, website uh, where you can click and browse through all the email providers there is there is also a good discussion about like you know what are the pros and cons uh, for each provider so you can also evaluate and see which one works best for your use case scenario now uh why proton email i'm not here to like you know promote their business or anything like that this is just to kind of see what are the security and does it meet all of our criteria that we need we have set forth that this is what we need uh, to remain anonymous or private or keep our information private right so one thing is uh it has like strong encryption at all times uh that that means like you know uh end to end encryption so that's what we were looking for that's perfect then you also have like password protected email so this has features more than just by sending and receiving the emails you can also encrypt your contract you can also have like self destructing messages which is good uh you don't want that email to remain in someone else's inbox after a while so you can also have like self uh, like you no know, destruction 
Uh, of course, this is open source and independently audited for transparency, which is pretty good. The best thing is uh, this one. Uh, of course, they have like you know lot more other protection, but they also have like a paid and the free version. We'll we'll talk about it later on. But main thing is about for the privacy, they are hosted in Switzerland, and we all know Switzerland Switzerland has very strict privacy laws and rules. So based on that, of course, uh, because they are based in Switzerland, there is no way some independent party so for example let's say uh, google or facebook or any other entity could come tomorrow and say can you give us all the data for this user or the law enforcement cannot come and and ask them about all the data and they're not going to give out all the data because they're all the servers are hosted in the switzerland so that's a uh, that's a big plus uh, the second thing is they also have onion address so of course you want to uh, be complete anonymous you can click here and you can browse their onion website uh, right now I'm on the on the clear net there is also like you know alternate routing so sometimes the government attempts to force a citizen to use less secure forms of communication by blocking access to encrypted services alternate routing is another uh, of our anti-censorship features that help ensure you can always access your email is blocked proton email will automatically seek alternative path to establish connection with our servers so of course like you know it's like bridges uh, that we talked about that Tor provides earlier and this one is built by by community so yeah it has like good feature uh, now one thing we need to make sure does like what kind of information uh, that we we need to give out right so let's let's create uh, it says create free account now as you can see they have multiple options for individual you can have free mail plus and unlimited of course uh, free is good enough for us so we can click here get proton for free and now you, as you can see it does not seek for any like first name last name i don't even know why why would other email provider need that info for but anyway so this one as long as you have like username password and your account is created so this is like you know very quick and easy without sharing much information you have the secure email inbox and then perhaps you can use this for your day-to-day -day operation as well like rather than using like gmail or, or outlook or hotmail etc so yeah so these are uh, this is like second option if you do not want to continue sometime dispose email address is like the last option that we discussed in the previous episode was also pretty good if your use case is like that this one is good if you want to persist your emails and next episode we are going to talk about some other type of email uh, like you know inbox and and we'll see what are the benefits that those kind of email provides uh, so hopefully uh, you have you like this content and you like this video. Hopefully you gain something out of it Let me know what other email providers that you have used So probably I can also check it out and see which one has like you know more security and and like that But be sure not to use like you know uh, Any popular email providers if you are surfing on the dark net because that will jeopardize your privacy uh, Hopefully you like this content. Please hit the like button if you haven't already uh, subscribe to my channel uh, and yeah if you have any questions you can drop the comments i'll see you all next week bye